If you're looking to buy an electric unicycle in Europe, head to myewheel.com. They are a trusted dealer serving all of Europe with reasonable prices, two-year warranties, and reliable after-sale service. Click the link below to get 5% off your myewheel.com purchase when you use the promo code EVX. Hmm? I know. I'm saying. I didn't see this day coming either. Oh, maybe you don't recognize it. There you go. Huh? You like? Let's get into it. I need the wheel. See ya. Well, I mean, I'll see you soon. Coming alive! Whoa! this day would come as you can see I'm riding it so that's a step forward this wheel has a lot to offer and a lot not to offer but I definitely think that I need to gear up so I'm gonna pull over up here put some gear on and we'll continue to talk about the M103 by the way um, this hat my favorite hat uh, you can buy it at the EVWare or everywhere.nyc store should be up soon Hope by the time this releases, the store is ready. Um, great hat. Yeah. Do I, do I have to sell it? Uh oh. Well, I've got caught on my little shred lights uh, Velcro thing here. So if you know me, you've been following me online, you know that I think the M103 is a joke of a wheel. I think it's for children. I think it's for babies and men who ride it are man babies. Just kidding, this video is sponsored by, no, not really. Duff did lend me this M103. I actually wanted to teach my family how to ride in a unicycle. I taught my wife on my Nicola, and I felt like she did a great job, but she beat it up quite a bit, so I wasn't ready to let anyone else beat up my Nicola and my family. So when I was teaching my father and my sister, I decided to teach them on Duff's wheel instead. You can almost like come to a stop and still ride on this thing, and it's, very stable at low speeds. Can you see the sidewalk and see like how much I'm barely moving? God, I, I don't want to like it. I hate this wheel. I, I don't want to like it. I can't like it. It is a dead end wheel. I will say if you know how to ride an electric unicycle, getting on the M103 has one major difference right off the bat, which is the way you mount it, you just kind of have to hop on. There isn't like a typical like linear wheel inside and kind of lean up on it and get on. Like you just kind of hop up. So immediately on this thing, the center of gravity is pretty low. And that also means your pedal clearance is pretty low, which means you have to sort of adapt the way you turn. I think that makes it easier for new people to learn on. So plus side, if you want to teach your friends and family how to ride, get them on this little piece of junk. Just kidding, Gatway. It's fine. I can't like this wheel. It's overly nimble, like nimble in a bad way to where you have to really correct and not make any harsh movements or sharp turns. Otherwise, you're going to end up really eating it on this thing. And that brings me to my next point about this. Yeah, so the next point, which is speed. You can basically hit top end of this thing, which is like 25-ish miles per hour in no time. And at that speed, it is not exactly stable. And you kind of feel it, man. You feel like the motor is ready to give out. I know guys who've ridden this thing to maybe like 30 miles per hour, literally cut out and crashed. I, I just struggle to find where this thing fits in. Like at top speed, it is not stable. However, it is very, very, very nimble. Some guys say like, oh, I'll out carve you any day on this thing. And it is a carved machine for sure. It's very zippy, it's very nimble. 
It's very light. I can't like this wheel. That is the craziest part about this. As you saw earlier, I lifted it right up onto the desk. Was it 20 pounds maybe? It's like, you can easily probably put this in a backpack. I wouldn't go far with it like that. For weighing that little, it has this much power, that's impressive. But it comes with a serious trade-off. It's quite unstable, meaning you have to really sort of learn a new style for riding. It reminds me of that gyro ball thing that came out. To ride that thing, you had to like, like lean your body to the right if you're turning right, but almost keep your hips back left. You, it was like this weird, and this has everything to do with being so low to the ground and having that low pedal clearance, yes. You're like this far off the ground, so if you did a serious dip and you lean into a turn, you're gonna scrape just like that. That's a bad thing in our world. No pedal scraping. It's awful, awful wheel. All right, so obviously like the parks are closed most places in the US right now, but uh, I don't think there's any rules that says I can't try to take an M10-3 off-road. So this is what we're looking at here. We've got some grassy areas with some mulch in this nice little park here. Let's try it. It's pretty deep grass. All right, here we go, here we go. I don't want to cut out, but I might. I'm going like 10 miles an hour. Okay, this is like not that deep anymore. Up a hill. All right. Who says you can't off-road on an M10 through? Oh, oh. Well. I don't think you can take it off-road. Let's be honest. Also, if your wheel ever, if you fall like this, don't reach for the wheel. Not that I could have, but when I was teaching my family, they reach for the wheel. Oh, I think it's a little dark. Here we go. Yeah, when I was teaching my family how to ride unicycles, they reach too much. They would go to bail and then they would reach back to like grab the wheel because they felt bad. Don't ever do that because you get the gotway spin of death and my wife actually like bruised her finger. You don't want that to happen. Anyways, I don't know why I told you that. Maybe I just feel embarrassed that I just fell on an M10-3. All right, now that we're... Whoa, shoot. Almost happened twice. It's a tiny wheel for kids. Like I said, not man babies. Stop riding this wheel, you grown men. I don't know, if you're used to riding larger unicycles like me, you can overpower this wheel very easily, so. Just a little like trying to ramp through a piece of grass there for a second time, I almost ate it. I should probably get back onto regular land here. Keep this to street riding, everybody. So after riding this for about like 10 minutes, I've kind of felt, look, it's growing on me. I know a lot of guys say they take it to just like zip around to like the store or something. I think that's probably an okay thing to do with this for sure, but I think it's just, yeah, it, let's relegate it to the, this is a zip around the cul-de-sac kind of thing, but don't get too wild. The lack of trolley handle is annoying, but there's clearly a solve, like, you can buy this really tall one actually on like AliExpress or something like that. Don't take us to a group ride, okay? This is not a serious uh, wheel for that. I don't quite agree or get why everyone buys it. Like I, I get it, but I don't. Like I wouldn't, I don't know. You gave it to me for free, I'd keep it. Look at this, I'm going through the stages of denial and doubt. Look at this, I'm like remorseful. If you gave me a free one, I would I would take it and mess around with it and I'd teach my kids on it, but I wouldn't like keep it and like go, look, look at my arsenal of wheels and the M10-3 is in that arsenal. You'll never catch me saying that. If you are looking for a fantastic unicycle for your children if you want a unicycle to just mess around with and like maybe kill yourself this is the unicycle for you but if you don't want to hurt yourself and you want to stay safer please buy something that's got a little bit more power but I don't know what is kind of growing on me it's kind of getting fun what do you guys think tell me down below do you think this M103 is a big joke? Do you think it is something that every man should own? I don't think you should. Or do you think it's great for kids? Like, what do you think? I'll throw the specs up here. I'll drop in a little spec thing here so you can see what this thing is rocking and you can get an idea. And then you should compare it to other wheels. Ah, I've been looking at you underneath this sky. I've never been this high. And you keep smiling at me. And my heart's like, ooh, how'd you like to spin around with me? Cause I've got a suspicion that you look perfect next to me. All right. And you can call me crazy, baby, but I call it destiny. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you make me wanna, make me wanna, make me wanna throw my hands up, throw my hands up. Some plans up, take my hand. 
See what I'm talking about?